um, as, as far as the whole rap thing, how you get into that? I've been doing it for a minute since young too. I've been doing that since young too. Me and um, me and Jay Stacks, the big spade. We've been on some like music shit hard and just trying to go with it. I've always been nice. It's just that. It's just something to do. It's not like I'm trying to get signed or none of that. I just like hearing me on the track because I know how to do it. Feel me? There ain't nothing, else, nothing too major about it. But is it more like is it more like a hobby or is it more like a? Hmm. It's a hobby. It's a hobby. But if something good comes out of it, you won't be mad. At it. Hell no. That's my point. Like, <clears throat> I do so much that the labels, when the labels see me, they're like, oh, all right. This nigga rap, act clothing, pawn. You know what I'm saying? Got a good organization with him. So it's just like, let's get this nigga a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he know what he's doing. He knows what the fuck he's doing. Get this nigga a bag. Rap. I do that shit. I freestyle. Oh, man, I, that shit is easy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's like, that shit is easy, bro. No lie, that shit is just too easy, my nigga. Like, I could do that shit backwards. You know what I'm and saying? then when you started, when you started, what was your first, when was your first studio experience? I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try to lay on a track in the studio, forget that. It was, um, it wasn't difficult. It was, cause I always knew what I, like, a rapper always got something that he wants to spit, you know what I'm saying? So the same shit that I probably was spitting, I just spit it on the track. So it was so easy that the in- Paul Foot, that the engineer was like, yo, you did that shit in one take. Even though I did that shit three times ago, mm-hmm. four times ago, but yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I did that shit in one take, I, I blah, blah, put the next beat on, I had something else for him. Some niggas be stuck in there and just, you know what I'm saying? But I know what I'm doing. Like, anything I, anything that I'm doing, I know what I want to do before I do it. I know what I want to do. So if niggas be like, yeah, we about to rap, thinking of what I want to say, thinking of words, you know what I'm saying? And that's just me thinking again, back to the thinking so much. Like, uh, it's just easy shit to see, you know what I'm saying? What was your first song? Like, what was your first song that you made? And you was like, oh, nah, this is... The first song or... For Broke. For Broke. I'm not to do the remix, because everybody asked me to do the remix, but... For Broke. For Broke was the song that, that I could have got signed for in 06. In 06, Pimps, went to, um, Pimps was on tour. We went to um, North Carolina, and, and and shit was dope. On stage, BT was there. Shout out to Keith Watkins, the big club pops. But on um, track masters and all that, we went and uh, we was on stage. Remember when Brooklyn shirts was out? The Brooklyn shirts we all had. Brooklyn shirts from Vinny's. Shout out to Vinny's. Yeah, the Brooklyn shirts and all that. We throwing chains. We throwing money. Bitches, ah, like we was bugging out on stage, like they never saw that out there. The nigga, as soon as I stepped off stage, the nigga was like, "Let me holler at you." My pimp nigga's like, "What?" Cause out here, you know what I'm saying, New York. Let me holler at you. It go either way. Niggas don't know you. It could go that. It could be nasty. So the nigga like, "Let me holler at you." So I stepped up. Some pimp niggas behind me. I was like, "Yo, like who you signed to?" Like I'm not signed right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm independent. Uh, uh. This is when 50 Cent probably just got like a whole million. So I'm just like, I need that mill, you know what I'm saying? Niggas offered me, niggas offered me um 150K, 150K. Time to dab. Some niggas won't, some niggas will. Sometimes I'll be mad that I did. Sometimes I'm mad that I, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? But 150K. Nigga asked me, yo, look, yo, I'm telling you, you bring us out here, North Carolina, it's going to fly. Your name Foot, Tar Hills, blah, blah. I wasn't thinking at the time. 
50 Cent just got a million dollars. I'm not 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably 3 Cent. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't thinking at the time. I just was thinking like, hey, I know I could do it. I know I could do it. But in New York, shit different. Probably if I did grab that whole deal, I probably would have been the man in North Carolina right now. Last nigga from North Carolina that you know is Petey Pablo. Who? Cole. Who? J. Cole. Oh, he is from there. But I don't really listen to J. Cole. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't listen to... But see, I don't listen to nobody music. I only listen to my music in my cars. Like, I don't really listen to nobody music. But J. Cole, facts. I can't even... Hands up. Great artist. What I did hear, what I do hear, great artist. Before that, Petey. <laughs> no, Orlando Rain <laughs> That's good. Facts or no, no facts. Fact. No, Carolina. Who that? Petey Pablo, right? Uh -huh. I, but you understand me, though, bro. 